All right, let's start with the story, which is uh, outside the lines has a story. A lot of it's rehashed, a lot of it's Spygate, Deflategate, um, and that the Patriots had a ball boy or in low-level employees that would go into the locker room and kind of try to get your play sheet. Does it bother you? Does that, when you hear about that, that, you know, they're kind of, they're pushing the envelope. Not like Barry Switzer didn't do this with you at Oklahoma, but does it bother you as a Hall of Fame guy? <laughs> Well, I think that there's, you know, teams are always trying to get an edge. I, I will say that. Now, do I know of anything when I was playing as to what maybe took place or what the practices were? No. I have heard from a lot of various coaches around the league when they have played the Patriots and they have suspected different things. Peyton Manning came out a couple weeks ago. I don't know if he was joking or not, but he says they sweep for bugs in the locker room whenever they go to, right, whenever they go to Gillette Stadium. So I think from that standpoint, uh, it is a bit of a concern. But I, but I think the thing about it is, and the thing that is so baffling to everyone that's associated with this game, the Patriots are the one team that don't have to do any of that stuff. You know, the fact that there's even suspicions or accusations for that club – they're very well coached. They're very talented. They're as prepared as any team in the league each and every Sunday. They're, they'll go out and win. But whatever it is, these things have continually crept up. You know, and there's been a number of things over the years. Do you think they're winning games? Malcolm Butler makes that interception because of the play sheet, because of Spygate. Do you? No. You don't correlate the stuff and the wins? No, I think that they're well coached and they anticipate things. You know, if you talk about the Butler play, I think he was anticipating that maybe that would be the route that's run on the outside and he jumps it. And they, you know, I've been at those practices. I've watched the way that they prepare. There's very little that happens there in New England that Bill Belichick is not prepared for. Are they different looking practices than elsewhere? Uh, yes, I think so. I think that when you go to teams, and I've noticed it with Philadelphia back when they were winning a lot of games, when you're around teams that win consistently, Indianapolis, when Peyton Manning was there, it, it looks and feels differently. You know, the players act differently. They, they, the coaches tend to have the players' attention. When you go into New England and Foxborough and you're at their practice, you realize, number one, you realize that Bill Belichick is in charge. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. elsewhere you wonder who exactly is. Okay. And he has the players' attention. And they go out and they're all business. There's, it's, it's not a surprise why – a player will maybe be an outcast at one team and then they show up in New England and they're model citizens and they fit right in. I think the expectations are laid out very clearly before they're brought in. And I think guys get on board because they know if they, they do what they're asked to do, they're going to win as a team as they have, but then they're also going to be the best individual player that they can be.